This is my crutch. The name of my crutch is Teresano Childhood Development. I'm the principal of Arise Daycare. I have 65 kids and the four teachers. I hear we have so many challenges. First of all is that we don't have electricity. MAPS is a research unit whose focus is looking at converting waste material and low value substances into energy. And by energy, we mean fuel and electricity. The, the absence of affordable, safe energy sources is a, a bone of contention in many communities, especially in informal settlements. And in that context, people also resort to tapping illegally into electrical sources, which puts children in particular at risk for electrocution. And there have been a number of instances where children have been electrocuted. What drove us is what can we actually do to make a difference? And what we realized is there's a link between the prosperity of people and the amount of energy they use. So if we can supply energy, it makes their lives simpler, they can use it to create jobs and so on. So we were looking at how to supply energy. Projects to supply energy have to work on multiple levels. And that is why we've been working with a community in Tembelichle, because with them we can actually see how the community interacts with the technology. The ECD teachers also represent Change agents, working with change agents, holds a lot of promise. Waste is actually treasure. There's huge quantities of energy locked in it. The Biodigester project uses wet waste, as, such as human waste, cow manure, and we use organisms that occur naturally in, in the waste to make methane and CO2. And that we then pipe into the house to supply for cooking, water heating, lighting, you can even run a little generator off it. Joseph, he's the farmer who owns this place. He's using it for cooking. He's using it to get hot water. He's also using it for lighting. So since we've installed it, actually he's cut down on his electricity use. Waste such as plastic and dry waste, one needs a different route to get rid of that. Basically what a gasifier is, it simply converts the solid waste material that contains carbon into a gas. This can burn about 10 kilograms per hour of um, material. That 10 kilograms could translate into 10 kilowatts of electricity. I think these kinds of projects offer a huge opportunity for students through their work integrated learning, their research projects, to actually take what they're learning in their degrees and actually use it to make a difference. We need everybody's ideas and everybody's input to make this work. Where there's an absence of energy security, communities are likely to uh, feel dissatisfied and as a result the conditions for conflict and in particular violent conflict grows. So when you have an intervention such as this one, uh, students need to probe how this kind of intervention speaks to the social dimensions of community cohesion, uh, conflict resolution, uh, and so forth. I think this project will be too much helpful for us. So I'm going to benefit because maybe when I got money, I'm going to buy a TV to play a video, re-educational film for the children. It will be easier for the kids to learn because we can have computers and we can put on TVs. There has to be participation, there has to be due consideration given to how people feel about even what may be seen as a very workable solution. People need voice, they need to take ownership, they need to maintain that and they need to ultimately drive a project uh, long after the experts have left.